Hello everybody, this is Dr. Ayaz Samo and today we would be discussing about an overview of a human digestive system. So human digestive system is a, one of the essential, uh, dig essential system in our body. So you imagine you eat pizza, sandwich, burger, chicken. Uh, uh, meat, steak, uh, french fries, and fried fish, eggs, pastry, dessert, dairy products. You must have eaten these types of food on different occasions. Or if I may ask, um, you like Italian spaghetti or Chinese noodles, which one do you prefer? Well, there is no either or question for me. I like all of them. So. A uh, digestive system is a system which is required for the conversion of the large food molecules into the small food molecules. You see in this picture you will find this the meat pieces and uh, there's a bread pieces, there is pulses, there is milk, there is fish, there is a potato, there is a carrot and there's a leafy vegetables and there are non leafy vegetables so specifically speaking scientifically speaking these uh, pieces are uh, big pieces of the food are nothing but they are made up of the carbohydrates proteins fats minerals because we know that our cells are too small to be viewed by a naked eye so even the, the small relatively smaller portion of this food for example polysaturide so polysaturides come from the potato and also comes from the bread uh, comes from uh, from the fruits the polysaturides so these polysaturides and the polypeptides the polypeptides as type of the proteins larger molecules of the proteins come to from the fish um, also from the from the meat and uh, and the triglycerides which is type of the type of the fat so these are very large in the size and they cannot pass through the cell membrane and so what to do in order to cross these from the cell membrane we need a whole dedicated system in our body to convert these large food particles into the smaller substances which is like a polysaturide should be converted into the monosaturide a polypeptide sorry a polypeptide should be converted into the um, amino acid and the fat droplets should be converted into the smaller fatty acids in order to cross from the plasma membrane so this food the big food particles should be converted into the small food particles so the cells can take a form of energy to convert them into the ATP which energy is being used by our cells to perform the normal functions of the human body as it provides for the building of the new proteins, for the building of hormones, for the building um, of the enzymes. So a whole dedicated system is required to convert this large food particles into the small food particles so we call it a digestive system so if you look at these two pictures the if two figures the first figure is of our respiratory system so you can see there is nasal cavity nostrils and the air passes through the uh, nostrils uh, and then comes into the larynx then trachea and there's the the left lung and there is a right lung and there is the diaphragm so our digestive system is a tubular system like a respiratory system so it is consist of the tubes like respiratory tubes you can also find this is like a tube structure from from our mouth to the esophagus to the small intestine to the intestine to the anus this looks like a tube so this is a tubular uh, system so the study of the structures and functions of um, of this uh, tubular structures of the 
elementary canal of the study fun study of the normal functions and uh, normal structure is called gastrointestinal physiology and the study of the structure function disease and diagnosis and treatment of the elementary canal is called gastroenterology and study of the structure function disease and diagnosis of the diagnosis and the treatment of the rectum and anus you can see here is called uh, proctology so digestive physiology is the structure study of the normal structure and function of the digestive system is called digestive physiology or we can call it gastroenterocardial pancreatic system because it studies the elementary canal and also the accessory glands and the gastroenterology is the study of the elementary canal and the proctology is the study of the anus and uh, proctology okay so next is the overview of the digestive system so our digestive system the length of the whole gastrointestinal tract from the mouth towards the anus is roughly from 5 to 7 meter and gastro di, our digestive system is mainly separated into the two types of the of the tracts first tract is gastrointestinal tract so you can find uh, which is comprised of the mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine and the large intestine and there are accessory structures like which are not directly involved coming into the contact with the food for example teeth tongue salivary gland livers gall bladder and the pancreas so you can see this mouth mouth is used for the ingestion of the food and food comes from the mouth to the pharynx and from pharynx to the esophagus so this is in this figure this indicates this region indicates the esophagus the so food passes from the mouth to the pharynx comes into the esophagus and from the esophagus food comes into the stomach so esophagus connects um stomach pharynx with the stomach and from the stomach food comes into the small intestine and from the small intestine food goes into the large intestine and from the large intestine uh, food comes into the rectum and anus where food is defecated so this elementary canal is what food is digested absor absorbed and eliminated and teeth and tongue and salivary glands at the mechanical uh, help provides mechanical help to the uh, to the food for example teeth helps in grinding chewing and crushing the food tongue aids the lubrication salivary glands also secretes a sort of the juices liver also secretes some sort of the juices um, which is um, gall bladder secretes also juice bile juices and pancreatic pancreas secret the pancreatic juice so these juices collectively come into the small intestine for the digestion so this is the overview of the digestive system the gastrointestinal tract and the accessory structures okay and the uh, uh, the overview of the digestive system has mainly following functions so ingestion so if you ingestion is what the taking of the food and liquid into the mouth for example we take meat or the vegetables in our mouth and we take we take milk we take water into our mouth this is called ingestion the then comes the phase of the digestion means the breakdown of the large particles of the food into the uh, smaller particles of the food for the mechanical digestion and the chemical digestion then comes the propulsion propulsion means the movement of the food along the git tract is called propulsion and uh, secretion means uh, secretion of the enzymes secretions of the hormones which are required for the uh, for the digestion for the breakdown of the large food particles into small particles is called secretion absorption means the uh, absorption of the uh, of the large of uh, the small food particles into the blood is called absorption elimination means the uh, excretion of the waste products uh, is called elimination so this was the overview if you like uh, our video please hit